guys, it's Miss Jessie. I'm so glad you guys could join me again today. Today, we're gonna do a fun project. I've got a couple items that I brought here with me today and I want you guys to guess what experiment we're gonna do. I've got a tissue paper, some baking soda, vinegar, warm water, a Ziploc bag, and goggles. Can you guess what experiment we're gonna do? Well, you'll have to find out later after our lesson. So stick with me. Today we're gonna to talk about forgiveness. Yeah, I've definitely heard that word before. When I was little, my sister and I would play board games together and somehow she'd always win. She'd always trick me and I'd lose. And I'd get so angry, I'd start crying, and I'd run to my mom. And she'd always tell me the same thing. Forgive your sister and move on. I'd think, yeah, right, I'm going to forgive my sister. So I'd turn around and stomp right back. And then she'd do other things that bothered me. And I'd get more angry, and it would all build up inside until, until I would explode and i'd yell and i'd kick and i'd scream and 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 then i'd and then i'd have to be the one to apologize and to ask for forgiveness and it didn't feel very good i didn't like the feeling of being the one that was wrong and being the one that had made a mistake that brings me to our bible verse of the day matthew 6 14 for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you. Trespasses are things that we've done wrong. Forgiveness is really tough sometimes. It's hard to let go of something. And that's exactly what forgiveness is. It's letting go of that bad thought or that heavy feeling of anger or frustration that you might be holding in your heart. Forgiveness is saying, I'm going to replace the anger and choose joy, even in the problems, and move on. It's telling God, God, can you take this for me? Can you take care of it? In fact, there's another Bible verse in Romans 12 that says that God will take care of it. It's his to deal with. It's not ours to deal with. Our only job is to forgive just like he forgave us. You know, this lesson reminds me of a book that I really loved as a kid called There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly by Lucille Calandro. This book kind of reminds me of it because she swallows a lot of things. And sometimes we do that. We swallow anger and it builds up. So why don't you guys read along with me and find out what happens to this lady who swallows so many things. I personally love to read this book while seeing it. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. She won't say why. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. She won't say why. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. She won't say why. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. She won't say why. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. 
She won't say why. There was an old lady who swallowed a goat. Just opened her throat and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. She won't say why. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed that cow. But swallowing the animals is not how this ends because she coughs so hard. Out flew all her new friends. The end. I love that book and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I hope you guys learned a little bit about forgiveness. So the next time somebody does you wrong, what are you going to do? Don't hold it in. Forgive. Hey, didn't we have an experiment to do? Let's go to it. So let's get started with our experiment. Did you guys guess what we're going to do today? Well, here's a hint. What happens when we hold in all that anger and we don't forgive others? We start to, well, let's find out. First, we start off by putting our goggles on just to be safe. Safety first. We're gonna start off by getting our Ziploc, opening it up, adding the water, Adding a half a cup of vinegar. Nice and mixed. Then I'll get my tissue paper. I'll put the baking soda in there. It's about three teaspoons. Putting it in the middle of my tissue paper. Gathering it together. And then inserting the tissue paper with a baking soda into the Ziploc bag. Let's see what happens. I'll close it up real quick. I might have to shake it in a little bit. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. Do you see this plastic bag? It was nice and flat before. But now all this air is filling up inside. And the more we shake it, the more the bag gets bigger. See? That easy experiment reminded me of the lesson that we learned today. Forgiveness and how holding in the anger and not forgiving others can be pretty explosive right? You guys can follow and do that same experiment and I'll put the instructions down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson and have a great day. Bye!